a little bit different this week. We're talking about audio. I am a little bit obsessed with audio, a little bit geeky. I did my foundation degree in sound design quite a while ago. And while the audio has never been quite perfect on this channel, it's something that I'm quite interested in improving and geeking out over. Which brings me on to Instamic. Instamic is a teeny tiny microphone with a lot of cool features. It's splash proof and it comes with a number of different mounts and I've heard people refer to it as sort of the GoPro of audio, which I think is pretty cool. You can also do dual mono audio, which is what I'm doing now, which I'll demonstrate. With dual mono audio, you can mic up your talent. Today I am the talent. <laughs> for the sake of argument, and you have one channel that is slightly lower than the other. So one is recording at a normal level, one is recording slightly lower. You can change how well you want it. I've set mine to minus 9 dB. And um, this comes in so, so handy if something loud and unpredictable happens, like a laugh or an applause or, you know, something loud, and your main audio channel peaks. That's gone. That's hot. That's distorted and ruined. You can just very simply swap down to your lower channel and you have a safety channel. Super handy. You can mount the Instamic in a number of different ways. You get a Velcro mount, a sticky mount and a magnetic mount and they're very handy for different situations. I use the magnetic mount 90% of the time. It works great for clipping it to people and it works great if you are in a room where someone's doing speeches or whatever, you can stick it to a radiator. And I've also used this to magnetically attach to my metal snare drum when I'm recording some drums. So it gives a really close up sound. And then when you mix that in with the ambient sound of the room, you get a good sounding snare drum. The sticky mount I have used on my acoustic guitar, just stuck it to the bottom, and again, you get a really clean, reliable sound source, and if you mix that in with an ambient track, you get some nice reverb and you can hear everything that's going on. like so much that geeks me out about this product is just how many different scenarios you could use this for. The Velcro mount I've used on my GX80. You could use the sticky mount for this but I thought the Velcro mount would be a little bit easier because you can take the whole mount off completely and you're just left with a tiny little strip of Velcro for when you're not using it. I love the GX80 or the GX85 if you have the American version. It is so cool. Listen to the difference between a mounted Instamic on top and the built-in audio. The GX80 or the GX85 is such a good compact camera for photo and video. Where it gets let down is the audio. There's no mic input. And I really begrudge putting a large microphone on this camera because the camera's so small. So the Instamic is a really, really handy alternative and it could be used for any camera that doesn't have a mic input. This also gets more pronounced, obviously, the further away from the camera you are. So here now, I have a G7 that I'm recording on. I have my normal boom mic, which is the Rode Mic Go, and I have the Instamic at two different levels. So you can hear the sounds and compare them in terms of sound quality and also how distance relates to the audio. Generally speaking, the closer you are to 
your audio source, the richer and the clearer it'll sound. So if you have the GX80 on your Grillapod, for instance, it might not be too bad, it's still not great, but if you had it sort of a couple of feet away like I am now with the G7, the audio would really, really fall to pieces. So the Instamic has the dual function of you can mount it on your camera if you don't have a mic input and use it just like you would a traditional sort of microphone or you can mount it to yourself and, and just do it that way. Another great application for the Instamic is mobile phone filming. If you do mobile phone filming exclusively or if you just dip in and out of it for convenience like I do, it's so handy. The one thing that lets down mobile phone is audio and this is portable enough to just keep with you as and when. If you ever want to do one of those YouTube videos where you're speaking a mile across the road and you're tiny in the frame but still hear everything wonderfully, this is a good solution for that. Also this room is echoey as all hell so I'm hoping because this is closer to me it will sound less pants. Fingers crossed. You control the Instamic either just by pressing record on the device, which I've tended to do, or using it through your app. The app is very, very simple to use and it connects with a really good distance. I've used this for ceremonies and speeches at weddings, being a good distance away, controlling it and monitoring it from my phone. And also in, you know, more close circumstances, it's fine as well. You can set it up two different ways, either you can have it to all automatically sort of gauge what's going on and then it'll set the levels properly, which is what I do, or you can set it for a set decibel and then you'll have your backup track if you need it. The auto monitoring just takes a number of seconds, so if you're with yourself it's just a matter of talking to yourself for a little while until you've got the audio levels correct. And if you're doing it with someone who's, who's, who's about to get married or some, some, some commercial work, just tell them to just speak at a normal level and then it'll just get the audio levels exactly where you need it. One, two, one, two, one, two, get the audio levels. And then we're recording. And off we go, we're recording. And then after a little while, the LEDs will go off and then it'll be incognito. The other thing that's really adorable with this is you can get wind um, windshields for it, dead cats, tiny little windshields. I think the company called them pajamas, which made me love the company even more. And it's it looks really good on your camera, it looks really fine and minimal wherever you put the microphone, and it does make a difference if you are in a windy environment. The microphone itself can do mono, dual mono, or stereo. So if you were recording a live band or something, you can get a stereo reproduction of the room or just mono. I use mono most of the time because I am a bit of a backups for backups for backups kind of person. So the dual mono really does appeal to me. The battery life is pretty good and I forgot how long it is, but I'll put it on the screen. And the storage, you're never going to be lost for storage because audio files aren't greatly big. So with the mounts and the versatility and the splash proof certification and all the different ways that you can use this, it's so, so versatile. I absolutely love it. It's very, very handy. I've got the black one. If you run out of lapel mics for a job or for a wedding, you can, it doesn't work on my gray t-shirt today, <laughs> but when someone's wearing a suit or a black shirt, you can't even see it. It's very incognito. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I. So there we go. A overview of my new favorite portable microphone. And I love it most because it's ticked so many boxes. You know, you can use it as a lapel mic, you can use it as an on-camera mic, you can use it for music recording, you can use it wherever you can stick a small mic and want to get some audio. Very, very versatile. So if you have any questions at all, let me know, and I'll leave a link to the Instamic below in the description. Thank you very much for watching.